so welcome to Techno Dad Life, and my name is Jeff, and today what we'll do is go over my ultimate portable video editing setup. So now, the ultimate setup starts actually with a MacBook Air, and so I know some of you are actually, I'm a Windows PC guy, but I just found for video editing that the MacBook Air is sort of the ultimate video editing machine now because starting with the M1 chip, the MacBook Air can actually edit multiple streams of 4K video uh, in a silent, lightweight uh, MacBook or computer. Uh, my second option, if I didn't get this, would be the iPad Pro, which actually has the same chip as this. Uh, the only difference is the actually the iPad Pro actually weighs more than the MacBook Air when you include the keyboard. So this is actually a better deal. Now, both the MacBook Pro and the iPad Air have limited uh, connectivity, so you want to get one of these. This is a multi-port connector. And so this one is from Cable Creations. And so it has a Ethernet port, a HDMI out port, a SD card, micro SD, two USB 3, and a Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C port. Now this is great because it just plugs right into, it plugs right into the side of the computer. Uh, and then when I don't need it, I can just store it in my little bag here. Whoops right there. So previously I used one of these which has almost the same ports. It actually has two USB-C ports but no Ethernet port. Uh, everything else about it is the same except for it has the two connections. Now so this is slimmer on the actual side of the computer but actually these little things have to be lined up perfectly. It's really difficult to get out. And so I switched to this because of that reason and it has the ethernet port. So this is really easy to take on and off. And I'll leave a link to all the different products that I found in the description below. So what I like to do when I'm traveling is have my little travel bag and this actually has everything packed in it that I need already. And so then I can just unplug my laptop and put that in my laptop bag and go. All the other power adapters and cables are already in here. And so what I got for power adapters is this power lot adapter. And this one is pretty cool because it has a 100 watt USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 port to power the Mac has an 18 watt, so if I want to power iPad Pro, and then it has two USB-A ports at 17 watts where I can actually uh, charge my phone or some other device. So basically, four things I can charge with one charger. And because I have the extra charger, I got extra cables, of course. These are USB-C. Uh, Thunderbolt 3 power rated so you can power your device over them. Next thing that you want is a Bluetooth mouse and this way you don't have to have any dongles for it. Now this particular one is USB A or uh, Bluetooth so I can run it either way. And if I want I can plug the USB dongle in here because for some reason with this mouse uh, the Bluetooth uses the battery out faster. I don't know why. Uh, I would recommend, if you can, get something like a gaming mouse uh, because it's more accurate when you're uh, going across on your screen for video editing or other things. Now, the one thing that I use that I don't see anybody else recommending on YouTube is the Shuttle Pro version 2. And so basically it has a wheel, two different wheels, so you can scroll fast and slow, and then it has different keys. So when you're editing, you don't need to use your keyboard for when you're editing video, uh, especially if you have a laptop like this, the, it's 
takes time to go back and forth to do the different key uh, inputs that you need, whereas here you can just press a button. Now, the cool thing about the Shuttle Pro version 2, there's also a Shuttle Pro just basic, which is actually fine too. It's even smaller. Uh, that one is just this wheel and these top keys here, so it's quite a bit smaller. So the Shuttle Pro version 2 has really cool software where you can actually change the buttons to do whatever you want. And you can see over here on the other side, uh, I'm using DaVinci Resolve, but it basically works for just about any program. On the left-hand side here, we can see that there are different things that it's preset up for, but the software allows us to adapt it to use in actually any program. You just have to do the different key combinations for whatever you program you do, hit a button, and then it's programmed. And so that, for me, this is the, this really is the secret sauce into video, uh, editing video really fast when you're on the road. I use it all the time, even when I'm not on the road. Before, you want a little pouch to put everything in. Everything fits in here except for the Shuttle Pro, which I just use its box for, it's the box that it came for in. Uh, and I have a few other things in here. Here's a DaVinci Resolve key. You have a portable hard drive, some adapters, SD cards, and some more cable adapters. Yeah, and then one final thing that I have, which is definitely not necessary, but I just like. So I hate plugging in my phone and so uh, this is a power lot, which is the same as the power adapter here. And I got this because this one actually doesn't come with a power supply. So then it plugs into this fourth pole over here. Uh, I like this because I can just set this on my desk. Any messages that come up, I can see them. It doesn't bother me because I like actually turning off the Wi-Fi on my computer when I'm working so I don't have any interruptions. Uh, also, I can see the time easily and if I'm video conferencing or anything like that, I can do it on this while looking at my screen here. So that's just my simple, fast uh, video editing set setup and I hope that you found that helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.